So you're welcome to another session of the ATV Library Tutorial Series. And um, this particular tutorial is going to cover the part two of how to cite and reference a website or a web page using Mendeley. Actually, we do have the part one on our channel. So um, that deals with the basic or what do you have, what do you are supposed to do before um, you will be able to cite and reference a website. But um, let's do a recap. So before you be able to cite and reference a website using your Mendeley software, actually you need to go to Google. So let's say uh, from my web page, you go to what I have over here. So you just type Mendeley Web Importer. And when you type Mendeley Web Importer, we have this. So you just have to get a web importer for Chrome. So that's what we are seeing over here. So I do have my Mendeley Web Importer. So immediately I open a website and I do want to cite and reference that particular web page. I'll just click on the web importer to start the process. So this tutorial is going to cover after picking the information from the website using the Mendeley Web Importer, then now you go to your Mendeley software, you do some synchronization, then you open your web file and start with your citation and references. So basically that's what we are going to do in the part two um, section or version of our citing and referencing a web page using your Mendeley Web Importer. All right, so I do have a particular website over here that is open and it's talking about Banking fraud cases hit 1 billion uh, Ghana city in 2020. That is uh, a report from uh, Bank of Ghana. So assuming you are doing, um, let's say, a research on financial crime or uh, fraud in our banking sector, and you want to pick some information from this website, you just want to see that um, it has always been reported that yes, the banking industry in Ghana do have some lapses so there is some irregularities in our banking sector. So you want to pick some information from this because this information, you are not going to get it from articles more often, but it's like something that the Bank of Ghana do report and, uh, and our um, dealers do pick them and publish them online. So you want to pick some information over here. So let's say that this information, so the report from Bank of Ghana is saying that yes, um, the banking irregularities in 2020 um, cases hit over 1 billion Ghana cities for the first time. And there are a whole lot of information over here. So you can say that despite this and this and that, actual losses incurred as a result of fraud of 2020 stood at 25.4 million Ghana cities as compared to estimated loss of 33.4 million in 2019, representing a decrease, a 24 decrease. All right, so let's say you want to pick the information over here. First of all, you have to make sure that your Mendeley Web Importer is active. Yes, so that uh, you'll be able to pick the information. So we activate our Mendeley Web Importer, but every website that you want to pick an information from, um, first of all, you should know um the particular or uh, the publishing firm or the media that published that uh, particular content so this one is from the business and financial times online and this is the title of the publication that is banking for cases hit 1 billion ghana cities in 2020 now who authored it who published it um so when you scroll down you realize that we have this is uh Oberata Yeboa. so we are seeing that uh, this person published this particular was content and you also have to you have to know the year of publication and all those things so you realize that this one is august 27th 2021 so all this information will be made available on that particular website so that you can use the middle web importer to pick them and finally do the citation and referencing so i will quickly activate my middle web importer so I have already logged in. If it is your first time, the Mendel Web Importer will ask you to log in. That is, you are supposed to use your login credentials that you use for the your, your setting up of the Mendeley software. So immediately, um, when you log into the Web Importer, Mendeley will just pick the information that we have over here. So you are seeing that we have 
banking fraud cases hit 1 billion in 2020. That is a Bank of Ghana report. Now, from the information that we have over here, it's like this is what we see, just the link. Then we also have select all. Now, let me start with this one. The select all that you see over here are the folders that reside in your Mendeley software. So if I open, you realize that these folders that you see over here are folders automatically because Mendeley is doing synchronization. Automatically, Mendeley brings out all the folders that you have created in your Mendeley software. And it's telling you that this particular information that you want to pick from the website, which folder do you want Mendeley to keep that information into? So these are the folders that I'm talking about. So these are the folders that I'm talking about. So if I say, okay, Mendeley should, my uh, website that I want to cite, Mendeley should uh, push the information over here. It means that when I come over here, the folder name is uh, BIBR. So when I come over here, I'll just select this one, B-I-B-R. If I want the information to be in my this particular folder known as Burton, I'll just click on it. So first of all, make sure that you have a folder in your Mendeley software that you want the website information to be synchronized into or saved into. So I would prefer that my information will be in this folder. So let's say B-I-B-R. All right. Now, first of all, I am... I was having um, this one, so let me deactivate my test. So yes, yeah, so I'm saying that uh, what I'm come to do currently should be in my BIBR folder, which is residing in my Mendeley software or my Mendeley application. Good. Now, when I'm done, I'll just click on this particular link. So you realize that it's saying that the reference type is a web page. The title is captured correctly over here. Now we have the author, so we have the last name and the first name. So you quickly go and check the person who authored this particular content. So we have Obedata Yeboa. So we are saying that the Yeboa is the last name. So we have Y E B O E H. Then we have Obedata. All right. So the last name followed by a comma. Than the rest of the other names. Now we are seeing that the publication, which comes from the B and F T online. So we have B and F T online. All right. So the year is 2021, as is captured over here. So correctly there. So that is <clears throat> 2021. So and our month is also August. So month is August. The day is also 27th. So you can type, you can type it over there. The day is 27th. Okay. All right, so this is what we have over here. So automatically, Mendeley will pick the date that you assess this particular content and is captured over here. That is um, 19th of April, 2023. So we have the website, the link over here, captured correctly. So when I'm done, I'll just go ahead and click add. It means that the content that I have over here must be added to the content in this folder in my Mendeley application, that is the BIBR folder. So I click on add. Good. Now I just come to my Mendeley. So there is a folder, the folder that I'm saying that the information should be uh, placed in here. So I'll click on synchronize. So you realize that retrieving documents, retrieving some. So the synchronization ongoing over here. I'm expecting to see your boy over here after the synchronization. That is what I have from the website that we did. So the synchronization is ongoing.
All right. So I do have Yeboah over here. So that's what we are seeing over here. So we have Yeboah Obedata Banking for hates this. And uh, it's coming from BNFT online. So that's what you see over here. So now I just want to move to my web file and do my citation and referencing. So let's say this is what I want to capture over here. So according to the Bank of Ghana reports, um, so 56% of fraud incidents reported in 2020 indicated involvement of, all right, that's also good. We can also say that, um, so we can, okay, so let's capture some information over here. All right, okay. So we are saying that, According to the Bank of Ghana reports, in 2020, according to the Bank of Ghana report in 2020, pertaining to financial In the Ghanaian banking sector, in the Ghanaian banking sector, more than half of incidents of the criminal activities was carried out. So let's say I have this one. So after paraphrasing, let us assume that we are done with our paraphrasing because we have to paraphrase the content. So you are saying, according to the Bank of Ghana report in 2020, pertaining to the financial irregularities in the Ghanaian banking sector, more than half of incidents of the criminal activity in 2020 was carried out with the help of staff with total value reported cases hitting 1 billion Ghana cities. So let's say this is our information that we want to capture. Uh, we do a little bit formatting, we change this one to 12. Let's say we do justificate. We justify what we what we have in our web file. Now we have to acknowledge it. We have to cite it. So we go to our Mendeline. So we just pick this one, or you can also pick what we have over here, the title. So you come back to your web file, you hit on references, insert citation, then you paste this. So we have this over here. Actually, for demonstration purposes, I've, I've done this one twice. So everything is, in, everything is in there. If it's the first time that you are doing, you are not going to see the information being duplicated. So I click on any of these and I click on OK. So you realize that we have the citation over here. Now I move on to references. All right, so references side, you also click on insert bibliography, and that is it. So we have, we have, we have our, first of all, let me check whether my reference style. So let me highlight everything. I always want my references style to be at a, so, the seventh edition. All right. So the latest style of the APA, that's what I'm using, the seventh edition. So that's what we have over here. So this is just a short tutorial on how to cite and reference uh, information from a website using your Mendeley software. All right. So Thank you once again for watching this edition of ATU Library Tutorial Series. If you've not subscribed yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel and watch out for more videos. Thank you.